I offer personal readings same day for $33 and next day for $17. Check the description box below for details of how to book and subscribe to my bonus tarot channel at Val444Tarot and my vlog channel at Val Smib. Thank you. Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val333 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, Aries, okay? Now, keep in mind, this is for Aries who are single, and so, of course, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot, and um, what's, what's it called? I always keep forgetting here. Oh, I do offer same-day personal readings, and then I also have a bonus tarot channel for you at Val444 Tarot and a vlog channel at Val Smib, if you'd like to check that out. Everything you need to know is in the description box below or in the comment section as well. So it looks like here with whoever this person is, they are extremely successful and um, you guys may work together. I don't know. Um, maybe they feel happy and recognized by you. Um, there is this energy of like a lot of recognition and success. So maybe social media stuff, online, offline, or they're just really good at what they do. It doesn't matter whether it's like, you know, in the public or offline um, or online. And so right now they're kind of just saying that they feel extremely successful with themselves, but also with you. And there's a lot of recognition there. Okay, it looks like they actually wanna, you know, they have ideas, projects, skills, hobbies. They wanna work with you in some way, shape or form and make something happen here with you. Well, they're definitely thinking about you here. They feel extremely passionate here towards you, very excited and happy, ready to move forward towards you in some way, shape or form and really make things work. They're planning, you know, some things here. This is someone that's willing to kind of like get up and do what they need to do, take action. And it's like they mean what they say. Okay. So they get confident, but it's like trying to work with you. So putting in that effort themselves though. So there's something going on where it's kind of like they don't really want to. So they have success and recognition. They have ideas that they want with you. They work with you in some way, shape or form. They want to give you an offer, an idea, and they feel really confident to do that. And then to truly put in the effort and the work, they don't want to do that. So they get a little lazy all of a sudden. But yet at the same time, they still want more out of this. You know, they want more. It's kind of like money and wealth right now. It's more so businessy than it is like, are they, you know, do they have romantic feelings for you? Oh, well, this will make sense if you're in a contract with this person. So there's something about contracts. There's something about legal stuff here. You know, what you guys, you know, have, you know, going on here. But at the same time, they're willing to be neutral and fair. And it looks like with them doing that, they actually ended up closing out a cycle on you. So something ended up happening. So maybe it was because they were trying to kind of like use you or take money from you or I don't know. They got a little greedy and then it's like something happened where they're like, oh, never mind. You know, cycle closed out. Forget it. It's not going to happen. Right. And so now they don't want an opportunity with you. They don't want to work towards this, but they might actually be greedy and be, be manipulative and try to take your opportunities from you by trying to force like a like give you a negative one like one where it seems great but really it's only for them and their greed excuse me and financial benefit and not yours but they're going to kind of preach it and say as if like it's great for the both of you that means they want something from you and so based on that, now they're going to hang out and reflect and actually kind of figure out what they want to do and how do they really want to approach you being in that energy. Okay, well, a few things. Either they genuinely are in love with you and have love for you and that's what's going on here or they feel a sense of new love, a new beginning, something very exciting if this opportunity will work out with you. Either or here. 
well, they're very excited. That's the thing. I kind of think more so it's on the flirtatious, like, attraction level energy here. And they might be, they may, they might really have a crush on you, really like you or be in love with you. Like I said, it could be that or they're just really excited and happy to be able to, you know, create a new beginning with you in a way that's going to be a lot for them in a good way. Okay. For some of you, this could be someone friendly from the past where there was never past like negative energy with each other. Um, or they're saying that they feel really nostalgic and happy with you when you guys do spend time together. There's something very familiar they feel from you. There's something very like innocent and fun and friendly here. Okay, but then that's what causes them to not really truly want to work on this and put in the effort with you and towards you. They kind of go back to overworking themselves to where nothing's going on or they just don't want to try or work or they're trying to find a way to get it out of you. Okay. Maybe they work from home, I don't know, but they're just kind of showing like stability. I don't know if you guys are roommates or friends, you live together. Maybe, I mean, I don't know if this is family. That would be a little weird if they're in love with you, but I guess everyone, it's a weird world out here. But now I kind of get the sense it's like someone that's got to be with you, like, or they want to be with you, or if not, it's like a friend or a partnership, a business partnership. But it's like, okay, so there's some, there's things there that feel stable at home though. So things are stable at home, but that's where they feel really uncomfortable and unhappy and kind of bored, stuck, miserable. It's like all of a sudden they're not, they're sulking and moping about you. They're not really truly feeling happy or being themselves. But at the same time, they still want to work on something here with you, especially like day-to-day -day life. So like their schedules or whatever's going on here, they still want to balance all this out with you and them in some way, shape, or form with whatever this is. Interesting. But them trying to figure out what they need to do about you and them is now causing them to kind of want to be more on that deceptive end. They're getting a little bit more deceptive, deceptive energy here. But they're trying to be neutral about, you know, how deceptive do they want to go? Are they just, you know, hiding something from you? Are they not really saying something yet? Or are they going to full-blown just take, steal, be a cheater, you know what I mean, lie, do something here? I don't know. Oh, well, that makes sense. For some of you, this is an ex. Others of you, this is someone that's in a relationship with someone else and they're trying, they're dealing with you. If this is a friend or business partnership, they're not a trustworthy friend or business partner. And them knowing this, that makes them happy. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel emotionally connected to you and like everything's fine because they're lying to you. They're putting up a facade. They're not being themselves. All right, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye.